Why these bodybuilders are passing away in their 30s, in their early 20s even, and there's been so many over the last couple of years, we need to get to the bottom of it. And in this video, I'm gonna be revealing that for you. The main thing I wanna to jump to is because as I'm browsing my phone on social media, I have been seeing so many videos pop up while a lot of people instantly jump to the blame game of the gear or the anabolics. Joe Lindner died at the age of 30. And what about all the other fitness icons who also died from long-term steroid abuse? Ultimately, Doing steroids is a personal choice, but it's your life we're talking about, and you should take your health seriously. So please educate yourself before you put any foreign substance into your body and you understand the risks and repercussions. The gear or the anabolics is what caused this unfortunate aneurysm, which for a lot of you that did not know is how Joe Aesthetics passed away. And the most notorious cause for an aneurysm is normally going to be hypertension, which is high blood pressure. Now, I'm not at all gonna be an advocate and say that gear and everything isn't detrimental to your health, but when you look at the grand scheme of everything, it is very minor in your health concern compared to a lot of the other stuff that is out there. And especially when you know the information I do about Joe, AKA what I would deem as one of the most aesthetics physiques on Instagram. He was always contest shredded condition, looked phenomenal, post some you know good content, informational. He was transparent about a lot of the stuff he did. He also had acquaintances who I talked to on a daily basis. Even though we weren't close, we had a lot of similar connections and people we talked to. So I knew a lot about him behind the scenes. He wasn't pushing the envelope. He wasn't doing anything crazy. He wasn't going wild with it. Not to say it might not be a contributing you know, factor to that aneurysm happening, but I don't think that's at all the cause. You know, the speculation, maybe it was his muscle condition that he had, it, you know, that caused the alien gains and everything going on. That might've been a little tiny contributing factor, but I'm gonna jump to the main thing or the main culprit, which in my opinion is something that happened a couple years ago. And Joe talked about it openly in many podcasts and videos. You guys can reference the Bradley Martin podcast, of course, if you want more information. I can't talk about too much just because of the information I'm about to reveal to you. But if you notice over the last couple of years, you have professional athletes. I'm not just talking bodybuilders. We're talking soccer players. We're talking football players, cyclists. We're talking people that are supposed to have tremendous internal health that never really had anything going on prior to getting some type of injection. Now I'm not talking anabolics or gear, but another type of injection, which I totally understand if you were made to do it, you had to do it to travel. You're in Joe's position where he essentially had to, if you wanted to go create content or get around and do what he had to do a lot of people were forced to you know they didn't have the option a lot of you probably know what i'm getting at and you can leave it in the comments down below but a lot of these bodybuilders uh, uh, some people for some reason aren't connecting the dots that he himself joe used to get blood work all the time he was very a big advocate of having his health in check he had his diet on point he was above and beyond i guess is essentially what you would say checking out on his health so i don't think he would have had hypertension and not noticed that that was going on I just don't really believe that. And that's, you know, like I mentioned, the number one cause normally for aneurysm, not to say it's gonna be the only cause for an aneurysm, but I just find it highly sus, very suspicious that he starts to feel a certain type of way and I believe he had four of those and he starts to feel bad and then this happens. It's just a weird, weird situation among all the other, when you start to actually map it out and branch off every, not just bodybuilder, but athletes, I'm talking once again, soccer players, football players, the list goes on and on, MMA fighters, randomly having these health conditions or certain things happen that shouldn't be happening. I just see so many people you know, playing the blame game on the anabolics and the gear. I'm not gonna say that it doesn't play like maybe a minor role, of course, people are always going to push extremes and do crazy things, but Joe wasn't one of those people based on what I know and what I've seen. And I know people very, very close to him who know exactly what he was taking, what his cycles were. And I can tell you it was not crazy. Not to say he didn't do like crazy stuff way back in the day, but at least currently he had more of like a health conscious approach to a lot of the stuff he was doing. I hope a lot of you don't as well and you're not oblivious to what's actually going on because there, there's so many indicators. If you actually, you know, take a little bit of time Time, do your research you will see that there's way too many weird situations happening that should not be happening if that makes sense I wish I could just like blatantly say it to you but I'm sure a lot of people in the comments down below will let you know exactly what I'm talking about uh, with that being said RIP Joe he will forever at least in my opinion be the most aesthetic physique on Instagram just because of the conditioning and everything he was able to maintain and hold over his career just year-round absolutely wild insane genetics insane work ethic and he 
he will be missed, definitely. And my thoughts and condolences and everything go out to his friends and family. And also, if you guys want to leave in the comments down below, maybe a positive message, something that Joe left you with. And we will end with that. Be safe. Thank you for watching. Be careful.